Today in How to Draw, it's How to Draw the Black Mamba. I am the snake artist and my mission in life is to get people to appreciate art and wildlife. Snakeboy727 has requested that I do a tutorial on how to draw the black mamba with its mouth open and a beginner version. So we're going to try and make a beginner version of the black mamba. It's a snake I'm not very familiar with because I'm from Australia and the black mamba is over in Africa. However, it looks a little bit like a taipan but with a funny sort of shaped mouth and I think if we get the shape of the mouth right and if we get that eye right, it's not going to look too cartoony, it's going to look way cool. We're starting off with the top part of the head, which is a little bit like an oval. If I go too fast for you, just pause the video and catch up when you're drawing. So I'm doing this curve here. Just so I can get the bottom jaw in line with the top. The line there, so I'm cutting into this. I'm going to dip down into it here. The thing with the members is they look like they've got a big smile on their face. Bit there, which goes up into the little groove in the front scale, which they flick their tongue out of. So there's a little, I suppose, a straightish bit there. It comes down there. Now from here, I'm going to do like a little bit of a bracket there, and then here, it's going to come out. Almost like a, a bracket going that way, but just slightly like this before it goes that way. See, so yeah, that's not quite a straight line, it's sort of bulging out there a little bit. It's going to be his chin. Just going to go up like this. It's going to see the inside of the mouth here a bit. Let's see both sides inside. Now here we have a couple of brackets like that on their side like bumps. Don't make them perfect brackets. That's the fleshy bits that the fangs are in. Actually make them a little bit pointier. Down here upside down letter U. Do another bit on the outside there and make that go back in like this. You can even put some lines there if you want, although we're going to colour all that. That's the windpipe. So when they are eating something they can still breathe. It sneaks out the corner of their mouth. Now here Little bits of flesh, teeth for guiding in. Now I'm going to pop the eye of the mamba here, about here. Starting off with a fairly good sized circle. A little circle like that. Most importantly. A little circle around that, coming in very, very close to it. So it's like a black dot with a white circle around it. And one of the things about the eyes that it's black in the center, it has almost this almost white bit around the black, which intensifies the black, makes it look pretty awesome. So this part of the eye here, I'm just going to sh shade it in. Like that. A little bit here, I'm just going to shade in not as much, a bit real messy scribbly shade in. So it's like that. It's our member eye. Going to shade in this bit here. You probably not take it all the way to the edge there. So I've done here. This here, I've left a little bit of white. 
I'm blackening up the bit behind the windpipe. So this has to be very, very dark here. This is why it's called the black member, because of the black inside the mouth. Now, definitely going to make this very solid. And start shading in here. Making this solid black. Same here, you need to leave little bits of white there to give some definition that something is there. Mouth of the black member. Now some scales, and a couple of scales in front of the eye like that. Let's give it about four scales around here, and then just put a mark where those scales end, close to the eye. Right. I have a scale up there, but we're not really going to see that much because that's on top of the head. Here, where that goes up. Okay, let me shade this in a bit. There is an awesome scale right at the front there. We've got a little scale here. Above that, we can. Heavy a bit here for the nose hole. Now it looks like we're sort of haphazardly putting some scales here. I want to put one, a decent sized one there, but what we're going to do now is scales are going to come off here and they're going to sort of almost like that pointing towards the eye. So, and off that tip there, and I think we can put another one there like this, and here we're going to put two good sized scales off the back here, and some more scales, see these are sort of Making these upper lip scales like that. Don't think go out like that. There's a bit of variation between the individual members. Some of the scales look a bit different, but they're also things that are the same. Like the bottom lip ones here tend to go forward like that until we get to about here. And then there's a bit of a change around where they go, a bit like this. Now for the scales under here, what we're going to do is just imagine your brackets. Do a bracket in the middle of all those joins and then do some even flatter ones here I'm going to pop a few brackets there like that. Now at the top here, we might do something a little bit similar. Let's just get some flat brackets here. About here somewhere we're going to do a big strong curve like that. Here a strong curve like that and on the back again those sort of flattened out brackets. 
doesn't matter if you don't get these quite right because we are going to hide them a bit as well. So now there's a few ways you can do this. I'm going to go the real easy way of doing these scales. Okay, we're doing some lines like this. Then we do some lines like this, leaving the flat belly scales. Which gives us a kind of scaling thing. Now, these and these have to sort of match up a little bit, so I want these to be brackets here. See what I'm doing? I'm just making these little brackets. I might even go over some of these. Just so it matches and blends in. Next. Well, that should be black there too. All inside the mouth's black. Put a bit of shading on top here. So, it's like colouring in really. But let's colour in really, really softly here. Soft, soft, soft colouring in. So your pencil's only just touching the paper, really. Very gentle, very gentle. Until we get to the top. Then we're going to do heavier shading like this. Just pushing a little bit harder. There is our black mamba. The easy version. I hope that was easy. I tried. And that was how to draw the black mamba. Now, I've got a few other how to draw snake videos uh, for beginners. And maybe if you look at some of those, it might even help you with this mamba one as well. So check these videos out too. See you next time.